Okay, so I'm kind of loving our new pool. So we're gonna do this video poolside. What's up, dog collectors, hobbyist, fabs, and besties? I've been doing a little shopping. And here is Barbie Looks doll number 10. I first ordered this doll on Amazon and it said it was gonna take like a few weeks to ship. Then she became available on Mattel Creations website where I got doll 11 and 12. They showed up before my Amazon order did, but they showed up the next day. So now I have three of doll number 10. We never complain about doubles when it comes to made to move dolls because we can always use body donors. On the back, you can see all of the dolls in this wave. Each doll comes with a certificate of authenticity letting you know this is a black label doll. A doll stand. This is a tall Barbie. Confession, I'm not a huge fan of tall Barbies, even though I bought three of them. I was just really excited about this skin tone. I love her face sculpt named Simone. On the website, this doll is titled Cropped Chic. She comes wearing a metallic crop top with puff sleeves, a black patent leather skirt, and silver boots. She has long black hair with a center part. She has dramatic eye makeup with purple and pink eyeshadow and a deep red lip color. I think this doll is stunning. I love her face. I find her outfit to be kind of simple, but maybe these are some good pieces to mix and match across our Barbie collection. And just to clarify, before y'all start blowing up in the comments, I have no problem with tall people. It's just that tall Barbies tend to be a little large for my sets and dioramas. So my preferences may not be the same as yours. But look, right here, end of the scene, head. Plus, she's wearing like heels and she's on a doll stand. Well, she's at a pool, so does she really need her shoes? Nope. Doll number 11 comes with protective plastic on her knees. She wears a one shoulder metallic jumpsuit. It is gathered at the sides at the bottom. Oh man, they missed a stitch. There is a shiny black belt sewn into the Velcro at the waist. She wears silver strappy heels, curly red hair pulled back into a low ponytail. There is a little bit of box hair. You might have to fluff it up a little. She has green eyes with purple eyeshadow, a soft pink lip color. Her face sculpt is Hyde or Heidi. Please forgive me if I said that wrong. You know, I am not good with names. This is a classic made to move body and I am loving the hair and loving the face. I kind of wish the belt wasn't sewn into the outfit and was instead a separate piece, but that's just a personal preference. Doll number 12, a sparkling LBD little black dress has a face sculpt named Frida or Frida. This is a curvy made to move Barbie with purple and green eyeshadow, a pink lip color, brown hair pulled back into a side ponytail. She wears a black and silver dress with a silver ribbon going around the neck. The dress gathers on the sides and she finishes her look with silver heels. I'm liking the variety here. This means we have more options for body swaps. The curvy Barbie is pretty similar to Mini Toya's skin tone. Mini Toya uses the AA soccer player body, but now we have a similar skin tone in a curvy. Doll number 10 looks like a good match for this Barbie fashionista. Personally, I wasn't in love with this doll's lipstick, but it just helps to give you an idea of her skin tone. I think she'll be a good match for Barbie fashionista number 90. I just can't find mine at the moment to verify. Number 11 is close to number 165, but not exactly. These dolls were $20 each. They all come on made to move bodies and have unique face sculpts. For $29.99, here is a Barbie extra fancy doll. Wearing a pink patent leather dress with large ruffle sleeves, fitted pink dress, with oversized bows, detachable train or skirt, pink heart stockings, pink ruffle shoes, a mirror, 
a perfume bottle purse, I'm guessing. Layers of gold colored jewelry. I am loving this one right here that says extra. Bracelets, large gold colored hoops. Her blonde and soft pink hair is pulled up into a high ponytail. The hair is very long. Her face is lightly pixelated. She comes with glasses and a matching headband. Oh yeah, and she comes with a dog too. It's a pink poodle with black painted details and gold glasses. So far, this is my favorite Barbie extra dress. The dress screams glam. I like that the pieces can be separated. Definitely my fave. Now just replace the pets with extra household items and put this girl on a made to move body and we're in business. Barbie extra dolls are articulated. They're just not made to move, which is my personal preference. I picked up a new Barbie cutie reveal doll. It was $24.99 on Amazon. This is the fantasy series. There are four new characters. When I'm looking at these dolls, I'm really just looking at their clothes. I was like, which outfit would I like the most? And I kind of like the color scheme here. So I picked the llama. I like that these dolls don't involve water. The llama is a light salmon color with fur under the chin and on top of its head. It has little hoof gloves and hoof shoes. It's pretty easy to balance them to stand. Let's remove the mask. Whoop. We get a Barbie with a pretty decent face screening. She has blonde hair with a blue streak, a heart shine on her lip and in her eye. She has coral colored undergarments sculpted to the body, fuzzy pants, which I think are perfect for lounging around the dollhouse. Her fuzzy jacket is reversible. It's white with a colorful print. She has four surprises wrapped individually. The first one is a skirt. It's a blue metallic skirt to go with her colorful jacket. Then she has a pet. It's a little llama and the head can move. This surprise is a comb with a sponge. And the last one is a llama ear headband and shoes. But this is probably my favorite look. We can use cold water to bring out details on the doll if you want them to have like a little nose and cutie mark. I picked up two Barbie Extra Minis for $14.99 on Amazon. They come with doll stands and I have absolutely fallen in love with Barbie Extra Minis. I think they are adorable even though they have like these oversized heads. They're tiny and they're articulated with movement at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the hip, and the knee. This one comes with a metallic gold pineapple purse, matching sunglasses, green earrings, a gold colored necklace. She has brown and orange hair with the front pulled back into two yellow rubber bands. It's pretty long. She's dressed in layers with a tie dye outfit and a white tube top underneath. They are all separate pieces and she wears turquoise boots. The other doll has pastel rainbow hair pulled up into two ponytails, black sunglasses, pearl hoop earrings, a metallic flower necklace, a purple flower purse, a pink see-through overall dress over a long sleeve black and white flower dress. She wears white tennis shoes to finish her look. Standing under six inches, I like Barbie extra minis because they are an easy doll to travel with. Seriously, I have this one with me like all the time. I like that for a small doll, they're still articulated. They have fabric clothes and are dressed in layers, giving us more opportunities to mix and match. However, I would love fashion packs. Just throwing that out there. They are decent body donors for Chelsea sized dolls and can fit her clothes. However, the shoes are a little different in sizing. I am pretty happy with my latest additions. The Barbie looks dolls are a must have for me. When it comes to the cutie reveals, I kind of wish I could just get her clothes. Same for the Barbie extra fancy doll. To me, the Barbie extra minis are too much fun and a new obsession because they're easy to take on the go. Now we just need Barbie looks minis.
with made to move articulation. Just throwing that out there. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at some Barbies. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.